go out to my patrons and viewers like you. Greetings, groovy people. Welcome to Blue Dragon Art. I'm the self-proclaimed Blue Dragon. I've got a box here that has marked all over it fragile glass ink. This is a vegan ink that I ordered from a company that is based in California, but it looks like this shipped out of Tennessee. I am going to be comparing three different inks. The one that I currently use on a regular basis, which is Zig Kudatake Black Ink 60, which is vegan by accident. It's, it's got a synthetic glue in it uh, that acts as the binder as opposed to gelatin, which is what is traditionally used in Sumi ink. And I've been happy with this. I also purchased because the local shop that I go to finally got a hold of some deleter black ink. I have no idea whether or not this is vegan. Um, so I probably, regardless of how it performs, will not be buying this until I can find out. I've, I've searched around and I can't find anything on it. And I wouldn't even know where to begin to, you know, contact them and ask whether or not it's vegan. But this is uh, the, the black one, 30 milliliters. This one has 60 milliliters in it. And we're gonna find out how much is in this one. I'm gonna do a price comparison and then I'm going to do some inking with it and follow up the rest of the video with just my thoughts on which of these inks I prefer. But first things first, let's get into this box. Probably should be going away from me. Don't do not do as I do, y'all. Oh, I could actually. I need to. You know, I really, I can't go away from me. Okay. Okay. If I end up liking this ink, I will be buying it in bulk in the future because of the shipping. I'll, again, I'll go into that later. How do I get this open? They do package it really well. Oh my gosh, it's like a Russian nesting doll, you guys. I mean, the nice thing is that it is in a glass container as opposed to the plastic. Okay. I heard about this brand from the comic artist Sia Ohm. I'm subscribed to her channel and a while back I'd asked her a few questions about it. Uh, she did a video talking about it. I don't know if it was like a sponsorship or not. I did not go to like any sponsorship link for this, so I'm not sponsored. I got no discount. Um, although I did notice their website discounted certain university students and professors, but this is Eon Vortex Matte Black Ink. And this is one fluid ounce, two, okay, so 29.5 milliliters. So of all of these, this has less than this one, which was $12.50. This was $9.99, but I had a $7.15 shipping. So it ended up being $17.40. Were I to enjoy this and wanna buy more of it, I would buy it in bulk because the shipping does scale, but it's not, um, it's, it's reasonable up to like five of these, I think four or five. So that would reduce the overall cost. It's something that I'm always going to be using, right? And then this one was actually the cheapest of all of them and gives you the most. So I'll figure out like the price difference, which of these is probably the best deal um, off screen and I'll put it up on, on the screen for you all to see.
one of the most important things is you know how well it performs in addition to like the cost effectiveness of it because uh, most of my stuff that I do is free I do get some gigs on the side and I do sell you know a few things here and there but primarily I am not bringing in a lot of money and I'm not saying that to have anyone feel bad for me but as a result of that I want to make sure that I keep my cost relatively manageable because I don't want things to kind of snowball and get out of hand okay so let's go ahead and try out these inks I made these little cards with some this Bristol Smooth at Strathmore. None of this, I think I've said this, but none of this is sponsored, y'all. This is just what I use. And so I have like this kind of test that I'm going to do. Before I have the practical implementation of the inks, how I would use it, the project that I'm working on. So I have the Zig Kudatake. I have the Leader Black 1. And I have the Eon Vortex, which I have been pronouncing Ion. I, I, I don't know other than maybe because I used to have a Saturn Ion. And I love the shit out of that Saturn Ion. <laughs> I think that's why I kept calling this Ion instead of Eon. It is Eon. Like, you know, an Eon. An Eon, not an Ion. But, you know, it also had like the little... You know, their logo, look at their logo, you guys. It looks like a, a, an atom or something, which I think also subliminally was like telling me this is Ion, not Eon. But it's like, I feel like they're doing it wrong because isn't an Eon like an epoch of time and then an Ion is like a charged molecular, not even molecular, you know, it's like a charged particle. Anyway, they got, they got me confused, okay? Okay, so I recorded a really crappy version of me saying Eon, and I'm just gonna copy paste that audio over, and we're all gonna deal with it, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, the things that I'm going to be testing these inks on are, you know, how it works with my Saji nib, which is what I primarily use, especially for Dark Horse, which I realize I have not been updating, things have been busy. I am going to be working on a page very soon. I use the bowl pointed nib number 512, which is a Speedball brand. Again, not sponsored. I gotta say that every time, don't I? No, I don't. Um, I use this for Cool World uh, primarily, but I also use the Saji sometimes. Uh, I'm going to be testing how well it writes, how well it hatches, cross hatches, stippling, squiggling, and whether or not I liked using it or even noticed a difference. Then I'm also going to use a thick brush. I will use this for like filling and not so much details, but whenever I need to like blot something out or maybe I need to color something in. But there might be occasions when I need a thick line. So I'm gonna test it out with the thick brush. I've got this thin brush. This is a one. I don't know if that means like, one. I don't know what, what the one rating is. <laughs> Y'all, I'm stupid, but it's Thin. This is what I use for detailing and sometimes I use this whenever I'm working on Dark Horse and I, I feel like uh, using a brush for the line work. And then finally I got this little guy here. This is a five... Well that that's not a fraction. I don't know. Again, I don't know what the fuck this rating system means. I have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm just so out of it. But you'll see it's very, it's very fine. It's very small. It's very pointed. This is a detail brush. So I'm gonna see how that works. The fill I have written here optional. Um, maybe I, I might use this if I'm filling in an, a, a pupil or something on an eye. I would not use this to fill in large swaths of space. Is that a word? Swaths? Is that how you use that? Yeah, only I think that's usually with material, whatever. But I'm going to be testing the line, the squiggle, the fill, and whether or not I like using the ink with these, uh, these tools. Eh. Okay. The rest of this is going to be time-lapsed. At the end, I'll cut in with my opinion. So we're going to start with, with the, not, not control, control, but we're going to start with what I use the most. Just my uh, general basis for what I usually uh, use.
Okay, so I have arrived at the end of this test and the verdict is pretty good inks. Um, I really don't have a complaint with any of them. I did have a little bit of trouble uh, starting the uh, writing with the Eon with my decades old pen nib. Uh, this is April 15th that I'm recording this. And as of this date, I have actually ordered some new bull pointed 512 nibs from Dick Blick. What an unfortunate name, y'all. Why would you name your fucking store that? It's all yonis and lingams with the artist, you know? If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. <laughs> now my mind is permanently in the gutter. Anyhow, but yeah, uh, that's more to do with like the, the pen nib here. It's a little bit of an issue. Um, so I've got some new ones coming. Probably won't do an unboxing. It's not going to be that exciting, y'all. It's just some, you know, art supplies that I need. But yeah, okay, if I had to rank the, the, the blackest of the black ink to the lesser black ink, um, you know, it's probably going to be a close tie between the Zig Kuratake and the Deleter Black 1. Um, you see that it's smileys all around for all three of these, but the leader was the most expensive. You got the least amount. So not only was it priced more, but you get less, which is like the same thing as it being priced more. Well, anyway, you get what I'm saying. Um, but also, this one I know for fact is not vegan. I could smell the wonderful sandalwood, which is delightful to me because I'm a dirty hippie and I love my patchouli and sandalwood and shit, but, but that's there to mask the nasty smell of animal product. Um, so if this, this is not like a, a criticism on the functionality of this ink. It is a professional level ink. It worked great. I had smelly faces. I won't be buying this ever again. Um, again, nothing about how it works. If that's not an issue that you really care about, really, um, but you know, you go buy it. If that's what you want. If you want to like, you know, have something that you think is like specifically industry professional and you like that ink, this also has the um, thickest viscosity that I found. Um, well, it might almost be a tie between these two also, but I mean, these are both Japanese inks, right? Um, these are both made in Japan. I feel like this one's a little bit thicker than this one, but they both worked great. The Eon was the thinnest ink, but I mean, just looking at it, it looks fine. It was uh, just slightly, I mean, not even, it's almost, it's negligibly lighter in color and uh, blackness, I should say. Just, just, it's, it's negligible, the difference, in my opinion. Uh, because, as you will see in the video, I I didn't really have a problem with any of these inks. I had kind of a hiccup when I was using the, the deleter ink, where I had, um, I was starting to work on Kana's hair and I done fucked up. I had a big splotch ooze out. But that's happened with just about every ink that I've had, and I feel like that's more... Uh, commentary on like the artist I hadn't warmed up that day and when I moved the paper over and started doing the trace job again I didn't have any problem with it um, it worked fine um, it didn't have the the big splooge all over the page <laughs> like when I started didn't happen again so uh, that was probably a problem with me and not the ink um, all three of these inks were fucking fantastic to work with. I really like how smooth the Eon Vortex is. Um, and I would like to go back at some point and do like washes with these inks. Um, try to work on the Whimper in the Dark with them, which is another comic that I work on occasionally. Uh, I would like to test that, but as it stands now for working on Dark Horse and Cool World, uh, any of these inks, I think, absolutely fantastic. If you want to know my personal opinion, what I'm probably going to do... Um, next time I need to place an ink order, I think what I'll do is, because I can save money buying 
like five jars of the Eon Vortex. Save money like on shipping and stuff. And I wanted to kind of test like some of the papers because this is unambiguously vegan. I know for a fact they say it right on their website, vegan. I absolutely love that. Uh, I know I, there are like professional artists who use this that are not vegan. They don't give a shit about, you know, you know what animal products are in their ink and they're using this. So um, I think that that kind of attests to just how good this ink is. Now, having said that, I'm not sponsored. Realistically, I'll probably buy more of this at some point, but I've got two fucking containers of this plus this one that I haven't completely emptied out yet. Um, I've got one more of these in my drawer. I love the shit out of this one. It is um, vegan, probably by accident. It's got synthetic uh, glue in it. I think I said that earlier. And I like this ink a lot, so. Plus, personally, this is the, the best value. If you are looking price-wise to save money, you get the most with this one and it's cheaper. Um, so it's for me, you know, I kind of juggle, I juggle a couple things when I personally buy products. Uh, I like for one thing that this is in a glass jar and I can clean it out and either reuse it or recycle the jar itself. Although it's kind of a nice jar, I could even see if there's a way to refill it. I don't know, I might look that up. Oh, but hey, look, look, it has all the information. Non-toxic, all that shit goes on smoothly and evenly. Okay. They got their own advertising on their thing, but whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, this one, this one is the cheapest, like technically the cheapest and I really like it. So I will probably keep buying this one, but I would buy this again. And again, absolutely, it has absolutely nothing to do with the product. This works perfectly fine, but it is not the best value. You don't get as much. At least where I got it, it was $12.99. Granted, I don't pay its sales tax and I didn't have to pay shipping, which was the problem with this one. This one had a shipping cost that was so that made it so costly. Otherwise, it would have been almost on par with this one. Uh, this was $9.99 and this was, I think, $7 something. So very close, $7.99 or something. Y'all you know, saw it at the beginning of the video. Um, but this one was the most expensive. Uh, this one didn't have shipping, maybe because I had such a big order, but this one the shipping would go down um, if I buy more and th then I won't have to buy it again for a while. Um, so yeah, <laughs> did any of that make sense? Did I just fucking just babble spew shit all over the place? So this is my favorite, personally. This is my second favorite. This was great, but I won't be buying it again, and it's no commentary on the product itself. It's a personal ethical choice on my behest. Okay? Behest. That's not the right way of using it, but I wanted to use that word because I remembered it in this moment, and if I don't say it, I'll never say it again in my life, probably. So, anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> God, this video is insane. Um, I didn't really mean to go so off the rails with this. Anyhow, I'm done. I need to shut up. Bye. Peace and love. Farewell. And keep on trucking.